Welcome the frick back everyone to Life of Avalon. I just need to talk to you for a second. I have something to get off my chest, okay? And it's been weighing on me pretty heavily this week because I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. And I just had to come out with it to Sebastian last night and I just had to, you know, tell him and hope for the best because like I said, I've been thinking about it a lot. So here it goes. I'm a little bit in love with Edward Cullen. Okay, I said it, okay, I said it. And yes, Edward Cullen from the Twilight series, I think I have developed a place in my heart over the last week where he lives and his love for Bella lives. And I know that this is so rogue and so not in like character for me in this channel, but I had to tell you, okay? For all of you who don't know, and for all of you who live in the US and have US Netflix, um, the Twilight series and saga was added to Netflix, okay? This is big information. Um, and let me just say, like, I was never a Twilight girl. Never once in my life was a Twilight girl. I was a Hunger Games girl. I had a love for Peta Malark from Hunger Games that was very deep-seated. And I didn't even watch all the Twilight movies. Like, I think I saw the first one and that was it. Like, I didn't read, read the books. I thought, you know, Edward Cullen was ugly. I thought Bella Swan whatever her name, Kristen Stewart was a bad actress. I could not care less. But then I started watching them one night because like everyone's been talking about it and I haven't been able to stop. Sebastian and I just watched the fifth movie last night. We've watched um, one or two every single night for the past three days. That's how addicted we are, okay? And we just finished it and we've now decided that we are going to go and buy the series and read it after work today um, because he's also kind of obsessed. And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry that I had to start like the, the vlog on this note, but I needed you all to know. And I want to know, like, do other people relate? Like I have like a little like knot right here when I think about Edward Cullen and the love he feels for Bella and how beautiful it is. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad we, I'm glad we talked about that. Secondly, can we just talk about the sweats vibe? Um, I got these from SoulCycle a little bit ago and I'm just wearing like this black tank and this is what I live in every single day and I'm not upset about it because it's comfy, cozy, and cute. And cute. Um, but now, third thing on the agenda, this is Sebastian and I's bedroom. It's still not cozy yet in terms of decor. So one thing I need to do in this vlog, separate from going out and buying the Twilight series so that Sebastian and I can read it every single night and relive that love, um, is fill this wall with something, okay? Sebastian and I were originally thinking that we were gonna fill it with like a painting. We took a really long time finding this kind of painting um, for this room. We called it like the Mona Lisa because we were like looking for something that could be like the centerpiece of the living room. And now we need a Mona Lisa part two for that space in the bedroom. And then I had a realization. I should paint the Mona Lisa part two. I should create it in our room and like paint it. Like I kind of love painting. I love pastels. I love putting it on canvas. Not saying I'm good because I am not, but if I could create something that's like kind of cute, I will. So I think I'm gonna do that today. Um, and then Sebastian and I are also, we have like some stuff planned for this weekend, um, but I'm just gonna take you all along on the journey. So welcome back officially to my crazy life and life of Avalon. Let's go get it. Okay, clearly got cold and put on a huge hoodie, which I am not upset about, but I'm like really craving. If you watched my last vlog, you know the struggles, okay? I really wanted a salad from Sweet Green um, that I had back in 2018. Okay, this is a long story, but basically I had an internship and every single day I would go to Sweet Green and get this watermelon feta salad. How I could afford that is a fantastic question. But, um, so I was like craving it the other day. So I went to Sweet Green with the sole purpose of getting a watermelon feta salad and they didn't have it, which obviously is my fault because I should know. Um, but I was craving it still. So Sebastian and I got the ingredients to make it ourselves at home. And we've been having the last few days and I am really hungry for lunch. So I'm going to whisk it up and eat it over the next like hour or so. I still have some meetings. What am I looking for? 
the dressing. Um, but let's create this bad boy. Also, this dressing is like the definition of unhealthy salad dressing, but we love it anyway. And I'm gonna put a little bit of it in the salad. It's literally like candy in a salad and just defeats the whole purpose, but I don't really care. I want it. I mean, you have to be crazy to tell me that that doesn't look so good. It's just like the perfect summer salad. So I have um, almonds, the feta, the watermelon, the dressing, and just a spring mix. Gonna whisk this boy up so it is like nice and mixed together and eat it. All right, it is officially post work time and time to let the afternoon activities begin. And one major, major perk of living in an apartment building in Texas is that they all have pools, okay? All of them. I have not seen a single one that doesn't have a pool. And therefore I can go hang out in the pool after work. So that's what I'm gonna do until Sebastian gets back from his day at work. And then we're gonna go get the goods, painting supplies and twilight supplies. And then I think I'm gonna drink a glass of wine, watch a movie with him, paint my masterpiece, read some Bella and Edward. Um, we'll just have to see where the day takes me, but that is the plan. Also, I got this in the mail the other day and I assembled it and now we have this cute little shower stool. I don't know if it's like a perfect match with the aesthetic of this shower, but it will do. Um, and to be honest, it's mainly so I can like put my leg up and like shave my leg while I am showering, but also cute for organization. It started to thunder and lightning while I was there, which is unfortunate. But I did change into my cozy clothes for the night, which are these like white knit pants. Um, they're like perfect for summer for a night like this, like where all you want to do is like be cozy, but also like not super hot. And then just the same black tank top. But these are from Free People, like their beach collection. I got it a few months ago, so I don't know if they still have them, but highly recommend if you're looking for some pants like these. Right, Sebastian is back from work and <laughs> I'm gonna go out to Michael's now. Like Loki scrub lifing it because I'm gonna wear this college sweatshirt with these pants I just talked about, but like, I'm not upset about it. I definitely watched too many episodes of Criminal Minds growing up because everything is something I'm paranoid about, but there's like a black Chevy that's been behind me and it's the most normal black Chevy in the world with a very normal man looking in it. But all I can think about is like, oh, what if he's following me? I gotta keep an eye out to see like where he turns. What's his license plate? What's the make and model? Like I watched way too many episodes of that stuff growing up. This is why I can't sleep alone at night. Like I'm traumatized. Nothing even happened to me. And I just have like an innate fear that it's someone is freaking out to get me. It's really a bummer. Update, he turned. Arrived. All right, I found the canvas. So there's all these options, but these ones are like huge. I don't know if you can tell how big that is, but like it would take up most of the wall. I was almost gonna get that one, but I think that's also a little bit big, so. We have this bad boy, 24 by 36 inches. So now I need to find the paint and some brushes. All right, so got these brushes and these ones, not sure if they're correct. And then these are all the colors. So I'm gonna do like mostly like baby pinks, almost like my nails, and then some like white and maybe a touch of brown in there. I don't know, we're really flying by the seat of our pants here. So let's we'll see how it goes. Right, now that the painting like materials are acquired, it's time to seek out Twilight like what we're all here for slash maybe not you, but like me. So there is a Barnes and Noble on the way home. I did a little bit of sneaking on the internet right before and I saw that it might not have the book. I don't really care. I'm gonna give it a shot anyway, just in case I'm lucky, but I'm preparing myself for heartbreak. And then we're gonna go home. Sebastian's making dinner and I think he's making like steak tips and a salad. So really excited. Let's go acquire this Twilight book. Moment of truth. I'm so upset. They had every single book in the series except for the first one. And I even asked the guy, I was like, is it true? And he looked it up on his little computer and they indeed don't have the first one. That's fine. I think I'll order on Amazon or I'll go on a mad hunt tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. Update, I got it on Kindle. 
We are all set to go. So I'm gonna read this in bed, but I think I am going to start my masterpiece. So let me get that set up. I need to figure out where I can like work on it like for a few days in a row. Um, I think I might use this table here because I need to be able to like dry. I don't really know. It's like a big piece of canvas. <sighs> we'll see. I really feel like I'm going back to my like childhood roots here painting this. Anyway, I moved to the bathroom because I can like actually keep it here without having to like move it every day and have it be in the way. So let's see what we can recreate. I think I'm gonna do like just a base and then we'll let it sit overnight so it can dry. Good morning. Let me find the lights. Okay, so it's officially Saturday morning. Always hit the fan instead of the light. And Sebastian and I are gonna start off the morning by doing a little bit of breakfast here. We're gonna go get coffee, go for a walk, and then we both have a lot of work to do. Um, he has work for work work, and then I have work for this other project that I'm working on that I'll tell you all about soon. Um, but let me show you two things. So this little disheveled outfit is what I'm gonna wear for the day, but I kind of like it and it's kind of cute. So I'm just wearing like my Lululemon joggers. And then this tank top, it's one of those tank tops that has like the built-in sports bra. Like it really brings me back to like middle school in an awesome way. Um, so I'm just gonna wear this just because we're gonna go for a walk and get sweaty. I don't feel like the need to put on jeans or anything special like that. So I'm gonna wear this, but let me show you the um, piece of artwork that's obviously in the making. Before I show it to you, just remember, don't judge. I am not an artiste, okay? I'm just a girl on her own trying to make a fun little piece of art. So here she is. Lol. <laughs> so this is like the first layer. I let it dry overnight and then I'm gonna go in, I think, with some yellows today, do something fun. I'll show you kind of like, obviously it's not the same, but like I'll put a photo here of like the general vibe I'm like trying to create with this. So we'll see how I do today. I think this is dry. Yes, it is. So we'll add some some parts today and I'll show you it later on. But let's go make an acai bowl and then go for a walk. Sebastian just created this breakfast wrap and it looks so good. I hate eggs, but like even I think that looks appealing. It's like avocado with a whole wheat tortilla and then eggs with like cheese and tomato. Damn. <laughs> All right, so this is my breakfast, the acai bowl. So that has acai, frozen mango, which is that, um, Greek yogurt, and then almond butter. And I use these. So this is a lean protein by Tropeca and Chocolate Flavor. I literally like just put maybe like half of a spoonful in. Um, and then also this, which is Superfood Greens Plus D. Um, so I use both of those in there. And then this, Sola chocolate uh, granola. It is so good. I already said that. Ah, <laughs> let's go. Uh, for my just medium iced coffee, yeah. So you want one with almond milk, butter, pecan, and then another one just black with an espresso shot? Yes, please. Yep. Okay. That's, That's it. it. That's going to be 701. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank one. you. Have a good one. <laughs> Update for you all, progress is being made. All right, everyone, this is the finished product. Um, so I let it like dry over a few days, but here she is with like everything complete. I don't think I'm adding any more and I'm low key obsessed with it. You all might hate it, but like it's kind of a vibe. I'll show you next um, vlog when it's actually like hung up in our bedroom, but here she is. All righty, it is Saturday night and we are out to go get drinks and some appetizers and then gonna come back. But I didn't really wanna change my top because part of me is just too lazy and the other part of me thinks that look, this looks cute enough. So just wearing these white ripped jeans with this tank. Let's go have a fun Saturday night. All right, we are done with dinner. It was pretty subpar. Like it was not fantastic. We tried a new restaurant, which is always fun. Um, and we got chips and queso and uh, like street corn, which are both like go-tos for us, but neither were fantastic. Now we're headed to Target where we're gonna get some like candy for movie night. So I'm gonna get some candy for movie night. And then we're gonna go home and watch a movie. I'm gonna read some Twilight and call it a night. Um, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can upload this bad boy tomorrow. 
Um, sorry it wasn't like the most exciting vlog in the entire world. I think next vlog's gonna be a bit more exciting and I'll tell you why then. Um, but I love you all. If you're new to the family, hit the subscribe button and join the fam. I post new videos every seven days on Sunday. Um, and if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, it really supports my channel. It just like helped me understand what you all like, but I love you all and I will see you next Sunday. Ciao. All right, everyone, this is the finished product. Um, so I let it like dry over a few days, but here she is with like everything complete. I don't think I'm adding any more and I'm low-key obsessed with it. You all might hate it, but like it's kind of a vibe. I'll show you next um, vlog when it's actually like hung up in our bedroom, but here she is.